Good morning! It is Tuesday, March 29th. I am back from my trip. I had a fabulous time. There's only one bad thing that happened when I first got there. I was so excited about being with Gina for the first time that I leapt into the taxi cab and slammed my tailbone onto the seat buckle, which I think fractured it. We have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. We'll find out for sure. So because there's all kinds of stuff going on, like shopping and souvenirs and ephemera that was kept to put in the book, the book itself, pictures, we're going to break this up into several different videos. Today's video, I'm going to show you things that I bought. So, woo, there's something on my Vegas trip. Uh, we went to Dick Blick. We found Desert Art Supplies. Both great places. Desert Art Supplies has a wonderful selection, even if it's just a little dusty. Lots of fun stuff there. We did um, a couple of Discount Tokyo shops, which is kind of like a Daiso, but not really uh, dollar-ish. It's, you know, bigger pricing. They had quite a few fun things there. And then, of course, the assorted um, souvenir shops. And we also hit Viva Las Vegas Stamps. So, let's just start with that, since that's the last thing I've mentioned. When you go to their store, by the way, they always give you a little flamingo in your goodie bag, and I have that somewhere else because I'm going to actually attach it to the front of my, my book. Their stamp store is, for the most part, all wood blocks. They do have, on occasion, a few um, acrylic cling. And I think this was a consignment purchase. I think I'm going to need a piece of black paper. Hold on a sec. Let me get it out of the wrapper. Can we see that? No, we can't. So I hope you've all had a great week while I've been out and about. Um, kind of hard to tell, but you can see the general shape. There's a word and then a box. So it says recorded, treasured, um, celebrated. I'm having a hard time reading these myself. Do I have a piece of white paper anywhere nearby? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's how they look. So you can do stuff on there. Friends, forever, memories, imagined, family, inspired, thankful, cherished, accomplished, homegrown, happy birthday, congratulations, you amaze me. A perfect day, spirited, and special. I thought those would be handy for a lot of different things. And then on the wood mount stamps, those are all their own designs, except for their um, discount dig bin that they have. And you can choose to have them straight up rubber mount like this, or you can have them have the cling on it. I had the cling added to it because I just didn't feel like doing that after doing the other ones. So this is a new uh, art trading card blurb back so you can fill in your details when you're doing that. Now, I wanted another one. I got a large um, gear for steampunk type stuff and a small one. I got this really neat looking uh, brick wall pattern. I thought that would be fun to use on some projects. I found this cool stamp for Pisces. And that was it for those. Then we hit up the discount bin. And this is monograms. I couldn't find mine, but there was T.O. So I figured, well, that could be used for, you know, on packages for two whoever. There was this interesting script stamp I thought would make great for background patterns. This is sand and pebbles. That would be good for some texture and things. And then I found my logo in there. Cool as that. So I'm going to stamp that on stuff. And then I found this cute little sentiment. Life is a circus and I'm stuck in the freak tent. I thought that was kind of fitting considering I was in Vegas. And amazingly, there wasn't that many, you know, freaks out. It was quite, uh, quite a good experience. All right. So next we were at, um, not necessarily in order, by the way, um, went to Blick. Dick Blick, which is really fun to actually see all the colors in person and touch them and stuff. And they had this little black book, and of course I already have one of these, but they had a little pamphlet hanging up that showed you writing with... Actually, no, I didn't get this at Blick. I got this at 
Desert Art Supplies. So change that. Desert Art Supplies found this. They had a little flyer up that showed using your metallic pens on these. And I thought that was awesome. And I actually started drawing the image they had on the little flyer as the sample. So that's parts of the image. So this is going to be my metallics and jelly pens colored type drawings on black. And my other one will be specifically for white doodles. All right. Uh, what else did I get from that shop? It's kind of a blur now. Had so much fun. Oh, I picked up this tape also from the stamp store. Just some skinny tape, double-sided. I was running out of my other one I was using, or at least I hoped I was going to run out of it. So I picked this up as a backup. Plus, this is really good tape anyway. Um, we're just going to jump all over the place because it's all in this box, kind of willy-nilly. Blick has really tiny masking tape. So if you've ever wondered what it actually looks like, this is the 1 8. And let me see if I can find one of my normal rolls somewhere handy. All right, here's, here's you know, regular masking tape. And then, of course, we have the, the two inch wide stuff, right? I've got another one of those somewhere. And then you have quarter inch, right? and then an eighth inch. So see how tiny those are? Those will be fun for using on uh, pages to do really small details. And like if you're going to do something where you want to create lines, maybe a journaling page or a planner page, you can use this and then apply some color and then peel it off and it'll be on there um, as a line. One of the places we went to, we found some miniature playing cards we thought would be fun to use in some projects. We specifically was thinking of Anne and her card people she's been creating. So we got two decks of those in each color, and then I divvied them all up. So we each ended up with half a deck of red and blue. Also, um, they had large playing cards and they had another one that was twice more than twice the size of this it was it was this huge huge card I could not see myself using that for anything so I didn't buy it but I think Ann got them and I think she might be using those to make some fun people we challenged her to make a person using that giant card at the one of the Tokyo discount shops they had these cute little notebooks and Cindy and Gina had come up with the idea that you could use this to store your little, uh, you know, gift card, fake credit card type things that you wrap your washi around and tuck them in here. Or even the little plastic bobbins filled with washi and tuck them in here. And it was a great little book that you could tuck in your, your bag to carry some washi samples. And it was amazing how many um, samples you could actually cram in here. So I'll be doing up some sample cards to put in my art bag. Um, here was one of the other things I got from Blick. I've been wanting some of these F&W pearlescents, but I didn't want to have to pay shipping on them, so I waited till I went to Vegas. So I got Waterfall Green, Galactic Blue, and Sundown Magenta. So some, some pretty colors to use in some projects. Mm, look at that, yum yum. And I'll go with my other ones that I have. I'm going to have a table full of goodies before we're done. In the Desert Art Supply Store, they had these uh, samples of the render paper. And I already have a render notebook, so I know how these work, but uh, they gave us each a couple of these. And it's just got two sheets of paper in there. But what a fantastic way to make maybe a mini book or an insert into something because you can draw whatever you want on these. So I've got those to use. Um, when we were in Walgreens, where I got the cards, I also picked up some souvenirs. My sister said that the best place to get souvenirs is Walgreens because they have a great selection and their prices aren't insane. And she's right. So I picked up this really pretty Vegas skyline of some of the casinos magnet. And they had a selection of, you know, 
not from any of the specific casinos, but little poker chips. You know, these are actually shaped just like the real poker chips, but they don't actually um, have any value to them because they don't actually belong to one of the casinos. But I got that. Let's put in my souvenir goodies. Um, let's see. I grabbed the neon Stedler, or not Stedler, excuse me, neon Prismacolor Premier Pencils. They had them in the the art shop, because I don't have those. I can put them in my pencil case. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, Blick also had the Spectra Art Tissue. And this is the bleeding tissue. When you get it wet, the color comes out of the tissue onto your projects. So that's going to be fun to play with. I can see lots of ideas to use with that. In fact, you can use it with maybe some of this rice paper I got from Tokyo Discount Shop. So I got two packages of that. And we can use that with the Spectra tissue and see what kind of fun projects and results we end up with. Also from the Tokyo Shop, I found a couple of notebooks that were pretty cool. This one seems like a child's writing notebook and because of this has this imagery in the front that seems like geared towards a child some kind of classroom application and it's just got these neat little boxes that you can write in you know do different things and then there was another one this one here and because script is supposed to go vertical that's the way the lines go and it's this really interesting super smooth uh, paper but obviously I can turn it this way and fold it and make little journal pages out of it possibly. And along with those I found some coin packets and I had a, another set that was larger but I don't know where I put them. But they were, they were um, you know, more like a, a normal letter envelope size. So those have some fun monkeys on them. They also had this packet of neat little tabs that you can add to your pages. I thought that would be handy. There's a whole bunch in there. We went by Hobby Lobby for a quick look around and I found the Happy Planner fitness packet of stickers. Um, I also found their magnet, one of their magnet sets, so I thought that would work well in my, my notebook journaling. Um, the Tokyo shop also had these neat little travel scissors. So you can use a, put that in your, your art bag if you want a small set of scissors with you. And we also went to Tuesday mornings because you know Tuesday mornings in different cities is always different. So I found this neat little packet from Kelly Perky Second City. It has all these neat little ephemera bits in it and they look like they would work well with my Vegas stuff, which I still need to add to my, my book. I found a Dilusions Triangle stencil, and I had a Dana Wakely, uh, I always call these propeller things. They come off of a tree. They're little seed pods, and you throw them in the air, and they actually twirl like little helicopters. And then there was this one, which has the stencil and the mask of some fern plant type things. Um, then there was the Large Dilutions um, Brickwork and Numbers stencil. And remember that fun paper I found that was green? It had all the neat pattern to it and I said, oh, it would be really cool if I could find some more. Well, I did. They had it in this pretty aqua color. See the neat coloring? It's like a little stencil. We got flowers. And they also had it in a brown with this real fun pattern here. So I shared those with uh, <clears throat> Cindy and Gina so they could cut some up for their own. And the last stencil I got from there was, oh no, I got this one from Desert Art Supply. A Crafter's Workshop one is this bubbly, fun, snaky goodness. I'm not sure what it's called. It doesn't say it's. Uh, number 357. It says Cell Theory on it. They had quite a few of the newer stencils in the shop, which was really fun. 
they did not have, we didn't find the Tim Holtz Distress Crowns anywhere. We were hoping we'd run across them so we could get a pack and check them out. So since we couldn't find them anywhere, I think we're going to end up ordering them. And we're still going. And amazingly, I wasn't the one who bought the most stuff. So, just think about that part. Um, let's see, that's a souvenir that I bought. So I'll put that in a different box. One of the art supply store we went to that was the what was it Desert Art Supply gave us each one of these catalog source book or art supply source books so we can look through at all the stuff that they can get on their in their ordering and actually I will show you that that book we went and saw um, a Cirque du Soleil Mystir and I picked up the souvenir book for that that was a fabulous show if you have a chance to go see a Cirque du Soleil show. You should. Any of them are fantastic. I also got a magnet for it to put on my my metal M. And we also went out to Red Rock Canyon, which is a beautiful place to visit if you're out there. And I got myself a magnet for that. And I had forgot where I put my passport stamp book from when I was a child. So I just got a new one and I can transfer my, my stamps and that. You can go all over the United States into the national parks and they will have little cancellation stamps just like one of your passports would have. So there's our little stamps for when we visited and there's another piece of paper floating around here somewhere that I put in my um, my planner and then it comes with a map so you can see where all the actual parks are. So let me grab this stuff out of my way and then I'll go on to the next section. Alright and then we have everything that's in this bag. So I got this bag from Dick Blick and then in here is an assortment of different things. We have, I found the Uniball Signo in silver. So I thought that would be fun to have for um, doodling. I think that was from, it was either from Blick or from that Desert Art Supply Store. I can't remember which one now. I need a sip of coffee. Now remember, I was there for a whole week, so we had all these different shopping opportunities. It was pretty fun. Okay, from Blick I got a chart pack blender pen because those are supposed to be pretty handy for blending your Prisma colors. From Desert Art Supply I got this Pilot Varsity. Um, fountain pen. I think this is supposed to be a disposable pen. Once you've used it up, you just throw it away. There's no way of refilling it. At the Tokyo discount, we found, I think it was Gina that found these. It might have been Cindy. Found these fantastic brush pens. Let me get all three out for you. So there was three different shades of brown. And they're not brown, they're black ink. But the light brown is this itty bitty brush tip. So it writes like that, right? And then we have medium brown, should be the medium tip. So there's a bigger tip, see it? So you get a wider mark with that one. And then the dark brown is the biggest one. And you get an even wider mark with that. So how fun is that? And I don't know for sure if those are permanent. Um, let's see real quick. Get a little bit of water here. Eh, nope, they're not. But that can still lead to some fun smearing. And I'll do some experimenting with this. It might be that if you heat set them or let it sit longer that they won't do that. But not too bad. So those are really fun pens. And of course... While I was at Blick, I decided to get, I found actually, the Stabilo All Pencils. I was so excited. So I got plenty of them to last me for a while. And I actually got a green one too because they had all the colors. But now I have six of them and I'm set for life. I probably will never be at Blick again. And Cindy had found this cute little pencil box at one of the stores and she let me have it and it's perfect for keeping my 
Stabilo Alls in. And I picked up a couple more water brushes. I got this really cool fine tip kind of eraser for detail erasing in my coloring. I think this was from the Tokyo shop. Yeah, it was because there's the refills and they've got the Japanese writing all over them. I also bought a bunch of souvenirs for my daughter from there. She really likes uh, an anime show and they had several of their items. So I got those for them. This is 4B uh, pencil lead, which when you write with it, it comes up as dark as possible. And I love writing with dark uh, pencil. I got this from Blick as well, I believe. It says it's a syringe crafting needle. So it has a really tiny point on it and you use it to draw up some stuff and then squirt it back out. I thought that might be fun for playing with. Might even work well in those inks that I showed you. And then I also got this really interesting pencil here from the Tokyo shop. Just put these in here real quick. This, I've never seen a pencil like this before. Um, it has a very wide lead, so if you wanted to do some large drawing. But as you turn it, you can see how it gets skinnier. The lead is actually rectangular shaped. I don't know how well you can see that, but there. See, it's kind of a rectangle lead. And it's very nice lead. I'm sure it will be really fun for doing some sketching and things with. And I made sure to get a refill pack of that lead too, just in case I needed it. And then also, I do believe it was Blick that I found these. They had the colored uh, page flags. And I do believe that is all of my shopping that I'm going to show for this video. Uh, my next video might be considerably longer. I might break it up into two segments. It'll be souvenir items and bits and bobs that I saved and things that um, we all gave each other something, you know, a little something something to use at the, the room while we were hanging out there. And you'll be proud of me. I bought no washi tape. None. Zero. So, hope you're all having a great week so far. Stay tuned to the next installment of my Vegas Stuffs videos. And if you're not already a subscriber, you can hit that button down below. Please feel free to like and leave a comment. And we'll see you next time. Bye!